All right. Have a look. So your grip's really good, really, really good. Um, ball position's good. Uh, you want to get your ball. It might be a little bit far forward. You might be a little bit where your driver should be. I'd say that your hybrid should be quite cl closer to there. So maybe one ball further back. So you want what you want is you want your irons on your buttons. Okay, that's your irons. Then you put uh, your hybrids just left of your buttons, like about there. Then you'll put your seven wood uh, and three wood about your collarbone. Okay, and then you'll go driver on your left armpit there. So yeah, you must probably, that's where you want to get ball position. So you get ball position in this area here. Okay. So literally, you you go from from your buttons to your armpit. That's your ball position, and then you put your feet where you want. It's easier that way. Everybody will tell you ball position between your feet, but it doesn't work like that. So this is good. So when we look at the slow motion, quite good here, good here, a little bit long, when ideally we want you to be here, there, where you keep your weight on the inside of your right leg, okay, and that's what we'd like, your hands to be there, because you'll get more power that way, and you're more level, and then you'll move so you get a little bit long and loose, and then this is quite good here, into the ball, really good. So you transferred quite nicely onto your left foot, and then you rotated through quite well, you know. So it's better, and you're quite balanced here. Okay, and then looking here, um, I'm not unhappy with this. This is good. So, yeah. takeaway is a little bit better. Still a little bit inside. So I'm going to work a little bit more on. We can take that boomerang thing, and we'll get you to hit some little wedges and stuff. Just feeling the inside of your left sleeve or your bicep here, a little bit closer to your chest, so that you can get the club. Your hand should be about here. Um, this should be closer here, and then your club should be about uh, about there. Okay, and then you go look at. Um, there, see. So back to here. That's really, really close to his body here, really close. Because we don't want the club to get too much this way. So that's always a function of your shoulders and your hands. So if your shoulders turn too early uh, or your hands get kind of active here, then the club starts to come behind you. And, um, and it will also be a little bit to do with posture. So I'd say the only thing I can see a little bit wrong here is that you're creeping back to that posture instead of um, they, they default that way. So like that. You don't want to default um, this way. It's good, but you're too, far th you're too up that way. So I'd like to see you a little bit further over. I mean, if you look at this guy here, he's like this will be in the 90s, this there. That's the picture you must have. And again, if you go, net, you know, see, watch. It's always going to be between 100 and 90, okay? Don't stand up. So when we go outside, all we're going to do is work on, and the thing is, well, the more you stand up, the more you go away from your body. The more you stand over, the closer you go to your body. 
So I think let's go and fix your posture a bit. Because you can see here, you'll see it that you'll, you'll start to get flat-footed or your weight will go start sitting back on your heels. You always want to feel nice and tall with your legs with a little bit of flex and then quite a lot of bend over. Like you want to get over because then it just makes that angle easier. Okay, so bend over from your hips um, and then you'll find it really easy to get your left arm across your body, okay?